If I had told you 10 years ago that I'm gonna make a YouTube channel and on these videos, I'm gonna just whisper, crinkle paper, and I'm gonna fold napkins. You'd be like, good luck with that. If you've never heard of soap cutting, slime slushing, or hour long videos of people just whispering, hey, sweeties. then you probably don't know about the strangely satisfying world of ASMR. And who knows, maybe you are among the very few who can actually feel the so-called brain tingles. <laughs> so let's get the acronym out of the way. Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, ASMR. Before the term was coined in 2010, people referred to this phenomenon as brain tingles or brain orgasms. So to understand what this is all about and what ASMR feels like, we met with Dr. Craig Richard. Would you feel relaxed and calmed if a stranger came up to you with razor sharp instruments and kind of carried them and waved them around your head? Does that sound like calming? It's called a hairdresser. <laughs> And the strange thing is, how many of you feel relaxed when you go to the hairdresser? So all these understandings of all these triggers and how they relax you is this new understanding of something called autonomous sensory meridian response. Imagine you're getting a massage. How do you feel when you get that massage? Most people feel deeply relaxed. Well, a lot of people, when they watch things like ASMR videos online, they're getting this amazingly deep, relaxing feeling almost as if they were getting a massage. But the curious thing is no one's touching them. These videos became so popular that over time, they gave birth to thousands of ASMR artists or creators. ASMR artists have done a great job of discovering all these what we call the ASMR triggers. There are certain triggers that are common to a lot of people like whispering, soft tapping, candy tumbling, scratches on the box, brushes against a microphone. So people usually get tingles from that. And a person who is not affected by ASMR comes in and goes, what is this? Yeah, you're not gonna get it because you're not a tingle head. And apparently, tingle heads are not all that common. Even though some of us might find ASMR videos relaxing, like white noise machines, feeling the actual tingling euphoria is reserved for just a few. A guess, maybe 20% of everyone may have the capacity to experience ASMR. And that's based upon just talking to people who do experience ASMR. So we decided to conduct our own little experiment. I guess so we should look we awake. <laughs> we began with soap cutting, which seems to be one of the latest ASMR trends. The sound is very subtle. The mess is gonna kill me now. Cutting soap is really hard. I guess if, if I'm by myself, cutting soap, it's fine, but I'm just afraid that at some point someone will walk in and see me cutting soap and then just ask what's wrong with me. You sort of, it's a really tedious process, cutting soap, right? It's fun, but I think I enjoy watching other people do it because this, the mess makes me a little anxious. It's not putting me into that trance. Since this particular trigger didn't quite do it for anyone, we asked Miss Candy to do her thing for us. Her specialty being yeah. candy tumbling triggers. Mm. Close your eyes okay. and just listen. This part is much better with headphones. <laughs> it sounds like it's in my head. being calming, oddly enough. <laughs> it sounds like my wife is eating in my ear. <laughs> that felt crazy. <laughs> that felt crazy? <laughs> oh my god. I, I never knew candy could sound so, like, amazing. <laughs> so yes, the videos might seem a little odd and a bit silly but there is a lot of anecdotal evidence that they soothe and even help people. I know that there's people with insomnia and anxiety and PTSD who are watching ASMR videos because it calms them down. I'm doing a service for them and helping them. 
According to research, 70% of participants who experience ASMR watch these videos to relieve stress. 80% say it helps them to deal with depression. 42% recall being relieved from chronic pain. And 82% of participants watch ASMR videos to help them sleep. So far, we don't know if it is better than current available medications and current evidence-based therapies. There's still so much we don't understand about the human brain and how we're physically and emotionally affected by everyday stimuli. My big hope, of course, is to see more research in this. 